but the, where, where is this now? Another kitchen? Three kitchens in the space of five episodes? I don't like things to get too stale and predictable, you know? That's why I keep changing things around. Keep on changing, keeping you guessing, keep changing, keeping you guessing. You're watching a recipe for that man! Blah 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 I'll say this right off the bat. I'm not too sure about this one. That's right, this is the show where I, horror author John McNee, buy my book, work my way through a treasury of great recipes by Mary and Vincent Price from 1965, buy my book, in a slightly desperate early midlife crisis attempt to become a YouTube megastar, buy my book, slash transparent marketing ploy, buy my book. Is it working? So, tell your friends. Because I don't have it. Today's recipe is sopa de ayo, also known as garlic soup. Oh, you better believe it. According to Vincent Price, this recipe is a triumph of experiments over experience, which means he tried it a lot before he get it right, but I'm only going to do it once because I think that's more than reasonable. We require garlic, olive oil, eggs, salt, beef stock, you're asking yourself, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. On the plus side, this should be one of my shorter videos. It should be noted up front that this recipe serves six, and I'm three at most, so I've slashed the quantities in half. Step one, finally chop four cloves of garlic. Well, that's done. And saute them in a quarter cup of olive oil until lightly browned. In with the oil. And in goes the garlic. Now this is garlic soup, so you would expect the garlic to be an important component, and it is. Apparently the key to getting this recipe right is to have very fresh garlic and to saute it very gently. Don't burn it, whatever you do. So I'm going to saute this until it turns a kind of gold colour. Smells nice. <sighs> you know I'm actually uh, cooking this on Vincent Price's birthday, so that's cool. What would have been really cool is if I cooked this last week and then I could have posted it on his birthday. That would have been the smart thing to do, right? Yeah. You see that? I think that's about as lightly browned as I wanted to get. Add approximately 500 ml of beef stock and half a teaspoon of salt and bring to a rapid boil. I love this color. Yeah, this, this, this is great. I mean, that's got to be good for the digestion, right? So have you decided what shade you want to uh, paint the kitchen? Yeah, 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 we were thinking puke green might be nice. Oh, no. We're almost done. Two steps, can you believe it? And now, please welcome to the stage, Sir Lawrence Olivier. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio. Well, this is boiling and smells weird, which means it must be nearly done. So what we need next is a heated soup plate. And the best way to get one of those is just to steep your bowl in some hot water for a couple of minutes. Okay, presentation. This is where things should get interesting. Take your heated soup bowl and break into it one fresh egg. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Going well so far. And strain the hot soup over the egg. Serve immediately. <laughs> so there we have it, sopa de ayo. Can't say fairer than that. I was going to pair this with a Pinot Grigio, but I forgot to buy that, so tap water it is. <sighs> Today's dish will be paired with a couple of slices of bread on the side and the Vincent Price horror film, The Last Man on Earth. Because garlic soup is really what you want to be eating when the world has been overrun with vampires. Plus, it makes an excellent meal for one. I mean, if you're eating garlic soup, you really want to be dining alone. And I am. Most of the time. These days. They can't bear to see their image. It repels them. I need more mirrors. And this garlic's lost its pungency. 
Not mine. Today's episode is brought to you by DOA2, the extreme horror collection from Bloodbound Books, featuring such sterling talents as Jack Ketchum, Rath James White, and, oh, you know, various others. You don't need to know everyone who's in the book. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do, of course, join me again next time for another recipe for nightmares. Garlicking.